One source of equity buyers in, uh, on Wall Street is on a decline and that is stock buybacks. They be, uh, appear to be slowing down and that might suggest that corporate America's outlook has dimmed or it might suggest that stock valuations have become prohibitively high or optimistically it could mean that companies are starting to listen to investors and put funds to what other uses like investments or new hirings. That is a trend that should be closely watched because one of the main sources, the main pillars on which the uh, rally on Wall Street actually uh, base, bases and uh, has a foundation on are stock buybacks. Today it will be very interesting to watch the US dollar, to watch West Texas Intermediate, WTI, the US crude and Brent crude oil. Um, because yesterday we had a, a rather um, interesting situation where we had the US dollar first declining. That means, okay, if the US dollar is declining, it's positive for the price of oil. But then the US dollar spiked up and increased in value, but oil just continued to go up. So markets are somehow ignoring the fundamentals, which is a stronger US dollar. Um, it is ignoring the still high inventories. It's ignoring the um, an increase in the number of active RIC counts in the United States. They have been on an increase and on an uptrend uh, since uh, some days ago. Every day there are more RICs active, which is a signal that US production uh, might be on the rise again. Then there's a lot of talking going on about a meeting at the end of September. Um, the Saudis have uh, actually said, okay, we might talk about a possible cap in world production, but the Saudis can only speak for themselves and they themselves, what they did is just to increase their own production to record highs. So um, it was Nigeria and Iran yesterday saying that they will not join. The Russians think there will be no result of that meeting end of September, but oil markets tend to ignore just that, which is um, somehow a risk. One market um, to watch today is for the inventory data is oil, of course, and then um, on the evenings there is the uh, publication of the Fed Minutes, which is actually the um, yeah, is, is what the Fed was talking about at their last um, uh, meeting, which was at the end of July. There could be one surprise coming out of that, and that might be some more concrete um, signals from the Fed um, regarding a possible second rate hike. Markets are actually um, might be underpricing uh, the rate hike risks. That is what the um, Fed President Dudley yesterday said and he also said that September is possible for a second rate hike. So that is very interesting. Two key points and key markets to watch today. First it's oil. Second it's the US dollar versus the euro and it's also US dollar versus the yen because dollar yen dropped below 100 yesterday. If you remember some videos um, in the past I have said that the Japanese government already said that they will intervene between 90 and 95 yen per one US dollar. So if dollar yen drops to 95 or below, then it is very probable that the Japanese government will try to weaken the yen again with direct intervention. So euro dollar, dollar yen and oil are the markets to watch today.